Hello subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. Today I'm off to lunch uh, in a town called Malmesbury. It's a town in central Victoria and it's on the old Calder Highway. Now the town is approximately 100 kilometres from the central business district or the CBD of Melbourne and it's an easy hour and 10 minute drive on the uh, new Calder Highway uh, and on that highway you can travel uh, at the speed of 110 kilometres so you'll get there quite quickly. Now uh, Malmesbury is situated close to the Coliban River and has a population of approximately 831. One of the beauties of this town and many other similar towns in this region is that you can put your bicycles on the train service as this town has its own train station. So you'll see that there's a lot of cyclists that buzz around, you can put on the back of the car obviously, but you can put your bikes in the uh, regional trains in Victoria and jump off at uh, any of these towns along the way and enjoy um, a bit of country living. Now where you see the uh, four wheel drive, the old army uh, land cruiser, that's the old bakery and that's been there for quite some time, run by I think uh, one family for quite a number of years. Um, to the best of my knowledge, I think that's correct. Uh, there are also some outstanding other cafes and restaurants in the area. They all should be visited, they're all great. Um, but the good thing about this is you can get there quite a number of different ways. It's, there is a station in the town. In the background, we might be able to get a glimpse of it somewhere. Um, but it's great. It's, it's got some great bike tracks and it's a very sort of pleasant, uh, laid back sort of a town. Great for tourism. Um, and it is a, a point where if you are making your way to say, uh, further up to say Bendigo, this is a great sort of halfway mark to sort of, you know, stretch your legs, get something to eat and um, take in nature. Uh, you will find in this town, there is quite a number of geese that have pretty much a right of way. I'd say there was at least oh, 20 of them. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't catch them on the drone, but they will just cross the road uh, and do what they want to do. And which is um, what the good thing is, everyone pretty much slows down. It is a restricted speed zone through this small section of the town. Um, but the kids will get a kick out of it, and even I got a bit of a kick out of it when you see these quite large uh, geese uh, make their way down the road uh, and back into the botanical gardens, which is coming up on your left. Uh, the best way of describing it, it's where all the coloured trees are. And as that motorbike makes its way up, and just opposite there on the left, you'll see the lake as well, and all those geese pretty much live in there. There's also quite a large number of ducks that seem to um, dictate terms in the, in the town, which is great. So as we come around to the left here, this is the uh, Malmesbury Botanic Gardens, and it is the oldest in Victoria. Um, it was established in 1850, and you can probably see the geese in there, uh, and a lot of ducks, and they're quite big and plump. There's another cafe there in the background, uh, quite a popular one also. So if you're visiting, um, you've got quite a number of choices where you want to go. Uh, the bakery is sort of renowned uh, as a stop for a, for a lot of truck drives and people coming through. Uh, this place is uh, a little bit more of a sit down style type cafe restaurant uh, and I think I cater for uh, maybe weddings or something. I think it's one of those things where I think if you rang them up um, they should be able to accommodate just about any service you might require them for. Here we go just on the right there that's the botanical gardens. It's just fantastic with all the colours and the trees and the leaves.
town, you'll find that they do have a police station and they also have a fire brigade, which is next door. In the background, I think in the distance somewhere, you'll also find the Malmesbury Youth Justice Centre, which is a custodial centre for young adult males aged between 18 to 21, who are deemed too vulnerable for adult prison. What is also worth noting is how well the uh, residents and I'm, I'm guessing the Shire take care of the uh, lawns and the gardens. They're, they're just terrific, especially when you get a bird's eye view. It's sort of the whole area is so uh, well kept, which is really a credit to the, the, the town themselves. So here we are, um, and we're about to take off now to see the, I think it's the uh, old railway viaduct. Now this was constructed in 1859 uh, to carry the Bendigo line over this small river which is called the Coliban, or Coliban River. Uh, it's one of the state's largest 19th century engineering structures in the state and the bridge section consists of five arch spans uh, reaching 152 metres from end to end. Um, we'll see it in just a minute, but I'll get those little facts out of the way so we can enjoy. Now just up the top in the middle of the uh, screen is where the station is. So um, it's worthwhile just coming here by bicycle. So if you're into riding your mountain bike or you want the kids to come out and have some fun, put them on the train. It's the Bendigo line. And once you get off at this station, you can ride around and have a real pleasant day uh, taking in some lovely country scenery. drones are not cheap <laughs> but I thought yep I think I should be able to fly under this bridge without too much drama if I take it gingerly so here we go fingers crossed will it crash a bit of hesitation had to realign it a little bit and off we go I'm sure there's some younger people out there saying what a hopeless pilot this bloke is well, <laughs> I might be hopeless, but I don't care. I'm having fun and I hope you're enjoying it.
we are once again on the right hand side coming into centre view is the Botanic Gardens. It really is a, a beautiful place to visit. It, it, it really credit to the Shire, whoever looks after the Botanic Gardens, the town itself and even the people there. You, know, the, you can see in the background even in the homes they really do look after their lawns and gardens. It's just a terrific little town. So once again here's the uh, viaduct, the bridge, there's the creek. Um, there's a lot to do if you're coming by bicycle as I said earlier there's the train tracks that'll take you right there, it'll take you right into the centre of Melbourne and here I am again um, ready to land and it was a great two hours, a nice lunch and a lovely country town. So once again stay safe, commute safe is the most important thing and give us that thumbs up Please subscribe and have a great day. Bye for now.